So this video will answer the question if the River Pitbull Terrier was the best pit dog there was. And even Sef Shaboot area were a lot better suited for work in the pit than uh, English Bull Terriers. Why is it then that in the working Staffordshire Bull Terrier of Irish lines, English Bull Terrier was sometimes crossed in? This is a good legitimate question, of course, because the reasons that I stated before. So the English Bull Terrier is more of a show type of dog that they created out of the working Bull and Terrier, which is the ancestor of Staffordshire Bull Terrier. That being said, in Ireland, Terriers were still tested, so they had the Tiastus Moor, which is a, a test against a badger to see if the terrier is suited enough to uh, become a pedigreed terrier that you could use for breeding purposes. So they only bred with very nice and strong terriers as compared to the rest of the world, even the show ones. But Tiastus Moor was stopped after a while and dog fighting was stopped before that being in a legitimate fashion but there were still fanciers that enjoyed dogs that had uh, the capabilities to do the original work which was in the pit so what they did is they they used any dog that was good enough or showed promise like in the old days so how the Boo and Terrier crosses came to to be, eh? the Boo stands for the Bulldog and Terrier for Terrier of course. And next to English Bull Terrier, also other crosses uh, with other Bull type of breeds were done. For example with Soft Coat and Wesson Terrier, Weedon Terrier, which is also an Irish breed. And also carries a Bull influence, but more Terrier than the Stepsy Bull Terrier, for example. And what they did, they also used their breed, but even in Ireland, or the dogs that they imported or were bred in the different uh, states of the United Kingdom, a lot of exaggeration took place. So also Stepsy Bull Terriers became a little bit too short nosed and had more stop. And what you could do when you cross English Bull Terrier into that is that you can decrease the stop that's very uh, pronounced to a little bit less pronounced stop, letting also increase the nose length and the bite capacity of those dogs. So an example is Champion Stormer, which many will consider to be uh, half English Bull Terrier, half Staffordshire Bull Terrier, what in, in fact is one fourth English Bull Terrier and three fourth, so 75% Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Also Psycho, the dog that he beat was about one sixteenth, if I'm not mistaken, English Bull Terrier. So a small degree of English Bull Terrier blood entered the, the Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier lines. And also because what I mentioned earlier, you had dogs like Kill Wiki Dead, which was also a first cross between English Bull Terrier and Staffordshire Bull Terrier, doing it in the Tiastus uh, more, but especially the Badger trials. So they tried to pull, the, pull as much badges as possible and then become a champion. And for that purpose, a bigger dog could also be used. But those dogs that can handle the badger, also like Petadol Terriers, are quite temperamental and quite eager and courageous. And they have drive to combat also in hard conditions. So these dogs, although not being fighting dogs, could also have a beneficial influence if you want to create or want to uh, yeah, sustain dogs that can also have these abilities. However, if you look for example at Stormer, he did not produce 
dogs as great as he was. So oftentimes you get a little bit of heterosis, which is also called the bastard power of these crosses. But sometimes they do not, and more often than not, they do not uh, inherit those traits that great to the next generation. So it could good breed good soldiers, so dogs that are capable of, uh, of winning, but we're not as good as producing that in the next generation and generation after that again. So that's the drawback and therefore you don't see that high percentage of English Bull Terrier, also an Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier alliance anymore. Then the thing is, why didn't they cross if they wanted heteroses or improve the Sefshi Bull Terrier? Why didn't they cross them with American Pitbull Terriers? I think they did, but there was something else. American Pitbull Terriers were very rare, very expensive, whereas they have their, their own dogs, which were not that rare and expensive, so they could have easier access to English Bull Terrier blood as compared to American Pitbull Terrier blood, which also was for a long time prohibited to import. That even now in many countries is prohibited to import. So you can imagine that the cost, especially in the Irish population, which is relatively poor as compared to different regions of the United Kingdom, for example, England itself, had a quite a hard time getting access to good quality American Pitbull Terrier blood. But even if they had, they of course would breed into anything that they could get their hands on. And therefore also American Pitbull Terrier blood was infused in the Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier um, to a small degree. Yeah. Because those that fancy top containers would normally also fancy the real deal being a American Pitbull Terrier and then out of a performance view oftentimes Irish Staffordshire Bull Terriers or Staffordshire Bull Terriers with working lines or English Bull Terriers could not add that much. So that's uh, the story to be told. There are also some other initiatives uh, being done lately for example breeding English Bull Terrier blood to Staffordshire Bull Terrier or American Pit Bull Terrier blood to create a more athletic original type of English Bull Terrier or crosses like the Staffordshire Itali Italiano which also is almost half English Bull Terrier. Hope you like this video, have a great day, out!